morning, everyone. Come on in here. Come on in. Jeff, you got a front row seat. Your first one in here. That's good. Good morning, everyone. How are y'all? We'll wait for a few other people. Get a front seat. Who's got a front seat? Becca, Chris, Ocean, Friends, Forever, Wendy, Judy, Jasmine, Glory, Free. How's everyone doing? We're going to wait for a few more of our friends to get on in here and then we'll get started. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, you heard about the Bitcoin, huh? Front seat, good, you got a front seat. We're on our way right now from downtown Chicago. Um, and we went live on national TV. It's amazing, the people, uh, there's this amazing woman, Debbie, who does the makeup. Uh, and she is just a breath of fresh air. You don't even need a coffee in the morning because of her. And um, she's just absolutely amazing. So anyway, shout out to Debbie. Just saw me on Fox. Thank you. Yeah, it was good. And I, I guess I just want to say one thing, which is I go on all networks. And so anybody who's watching me, you know, I go on Morning Joe on MSNBC. I go on Fox and Friends. I've probably been on CNBC, you know, probably the most. Um, and so just to be clear with everybody, what we're doing is an apolitical, apolitical effort. This is a bipartisan issue. So it looks like our numbers are still going up here. Once they kind of, then we'll, uh, we'll get started. So today's a big day. Uh, I am going to be, I think, and I don't know if this is for sure, but I'm going to be the first person ever to give away a Bitcoin on Twitter. What do y'all think about that? So if you don't own cryptocurrency, if you don't own all that, uh, don't worry about it. You can still get the Bitcoin. Uh, we'll figure out a way to do it. You can either choose, the winner can either choose to get it in cash or in Bitcoin. Bitcoin, I think, is very interesting. And um, so you're going to see a tweet from me some point this morning. So get ready, stay focused. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of people who are interested in this. One of the things that I will say is that, uh, you know, a lot of people think that they won't get it. And obviously the odds are tough, but I'm trying to give to as many people as possible. And hopefully you guys can all see that. And I think we've been able to do that. So um, you saw the $3,000 thing yesterday. Make sure you're in that. Retweet that. Um, and we're really expanding the team. We're raising awareness for kindness and for generosity and for those kind of things. So... Um, I just want to thank each and every one of you for, uh, you know, your support and what we've been doing. We are changing lives. We changed a baby's life this year, if you may remember, or this, this past week, rather. By the way, did everybody, does everybody like the idea of Bitcoin, even if you don't have a Bitcoin? How much is a Bitcoin worth? That's a great question. Bitcoin is worth today about $11,000. So, Yeah. Do I trust Bitcoin? It's a decentralized network. It's, uh, my opinion, don't take my advice, but it is. And voidware prohibited for all of these, you know, sweepstakes and giveaways. Voidware prohibited. No purchase necessary. Very excited. I don't know a lot about Bitcoin. Well, this is a good opportunity to know about it. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Harley. Thank you, Sherry got about a thousand people in here right now we're going to be giving away one bitcoin today not today but over the next few days to one random person and we're going to have many other things i got some really exciting things in the works i have you wouldn't even believe the big companies that i have calling now wanting to give away product give away product what we're doing is fundamentally transforming um 
Let's see if we can get like 2,000 people in here. Can everybody just like retweet this? Let's see. We're at 1,000, which is good. Let's let's see if we can juice this number up. That'd be kind of fun, right? Let's play a little game with the 1,000. Um, yeah, Bitcoin, you'll start learning. It'll be amazing. Yeah, it'll be about $11,000 $11, is the form of it. And I'll give people the choice. You can either get it in Bitcoin or you can get it in dollars. Uh, but trying to raise awareness for cryptocurrency. Uh, actually, here, here's something that I'll just tell everybody, and you all should know this, okay? If you don't know this, you're missing out. Cryptocurrency is so impactful for the world and so impactful for philanthropy. And let me tell you why. Many people, especially those in urban communities and in some of the poorest neighborhoods in the world, do not have the ability to get bank accounts for whatever reason. And don't judge them. By the way, when you judge people, and I talked about this yesterday and everybody loved it, and I love all of you. When we judge people, it temporarily feels good. Thank you for being skeptical about my account at first. I would be too, but thank you for converting because I'll tell you, uh, what we're doing is amazing. Uh, getting back to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, why is it so important for you? It's so important for you and for everybody because philanthropically, people who can't get uh, bank accounts they can get money through cryptocurrency. And from my perspective, and I don't know what you all think, but people talk about, you know, this issue of money laundering and all this kind of stuff with regard to, you know, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. People have been using the U.S. dollar for that forever. So, you know, yeah, you just asked your son what Bitcoin was. See, it just starts a conversation and it allows us to philanthropically give more too over time. Uh, if we build it, they will come. You're awesome. I have my notifications on. Thank you, notification gang. Thank you, notification gang. I've been giving a lot of. Uh, uh, I've been giving a lot of uh, random people money for being part of the notification game. Thank you for retweeting. Yeah, we're up at a one thousand, which is amazing in here right now. Crypto is the future. Could you split a cash Bitcoin split? Maybe, maybe we'll see. Can we get Twitter philanthropy on the bill? Trust me. So, yeah, thanks everybody for retweeting. Bring on the Bitcoin. No access to banking. See, that's exactly why it's so important. Bitcoin is the future. Speed accessibility. Uh, yeah, 4,000 people have watched this. Okay, can Bitcoin be manipulated? Too poor for a bank account. Too poor for a bank account. See, you're exactly the type of person that we can benefit by giving you cryptocurrency. What other questions do you guys have about today? So we have the $3,000 giveaway from yesterday. We have the Bitcoin giveaway uh, for today for the next several days. Um, we have a couple other things coming up this week. Uh, the Tesla will be given out at some point this month. We've identified the Tesla. Um, we've just got an enormous amount of people who are contributing. Thank you, teammates, for contributing. I look at the stuff. You, you given five, ten dollars, fifteen dollars, a hundred dollars. Um, just blown away by it. Thank you for taking care of that veteran last night. When I put it out, I really appreciate it. Teammates unite. That's exactly correct. This is all about the team and we are building an unstoppable team, an unstoppable, yes, notification gang, an unstoppable notification team and Everybody is just, we are just moving the earth. You can feel reality changing with what we're doing. We are punching a hole in the reality of philanthropy. We've given the American people hope and opportunity. Real hope and real opportunity. This is what we're doing. And we're just delighted to have such a strong team. Um, you'd rather have the 1% give away their money, not the government. Well, it's an interesting thing. Yeah, let's hope the Baltimore Sun retracts and takes me up on my offer. I wouldn't hold your breath, though. Honestly, and I guess I didn't talk about this on Fox and Friends. I was, but I'll share this with you all. The Baltimore Sun, in so many ways, is totally irrelevant. And, and that's the sad part about it, is that they've become irrelevant. If you look at their last, like, five tweets, for example, they probably have, I don't know, let's be generous, an average of a few hundred retweets. By the way, they don't have that. My last five tweets have thousands and thousands of retweets, okay? Who do you think is more impactful in terms of getting out the word? What we're doing as teammates or the Baltimore Sun? 
And to me, that's what's so disappointing about what the Baltimore Sun is doing is they're actually turning away people who want to come and clean up trash in the area. And guys like Scott, who are going in there and doing it, he's a new media star. You know what I mean? He's, he, he's, he gets thousands and thousands of retweets and gets his message out. Why would you ever try to discourage somebody from doing that? And I just, I get so concerned about journalism. I don't know if you all know this, but I was actually a trained journalist. I went to school for journalism. And I get so concerned about journalism because they don't take people like him seriously. It doesn't matter what type of side of the political aisle you're on. Republican, Democrat, independent, non-political. I don't care whether you're, I said this in a tweet, Winnie the Pooh. I mean, if you're Winnie the Pooh and you want to come in and help somebody, let them help somebody. And so, anyway, I just, you know, I love the Baltimore Sun. I love the editors. I love them very much. But why won't they retract it? It's just, it's not productive for Baltimore and the residents, which is most important, most important. And number two, it's not helpful to journalism. It actually hurts journalists. And many of these editors, they may be older in age, but there's a lot of young reporters at the Baltimore Sun. And the future of journalism is hurt when we don't recognize people who have a real following and who are changing the model. So with that, I will say that. Power of positivity. Teammates rock. That's right. The residents do want help and appreciate it. I was just in Baltimore. Today our crews are going to be cleaning up uh, a couple streets in Detroit. Um, We'll get them there. We'll get them there. May take a while. So everybody have a great weekend. I'm going to let you all go here shortly. Anybody else have any questions? The Baltimore's office has not responded to my offer. Journalism is actually not dead. There's going to be a new type of journalism. The question is, do the older journalists... Do the old thinking of journalists, do they change with the times? That's the that's the big thing. So everybody stay tuned today. Look out for the tweet. It's essentially around, don't quote me, but whatever the number, you know, Bitcoin goes up and down, so it can be anything. You know, ten, eleven thousand dollars. Anybody else have any questions? Otherwise, I'm going to let you go. Have a great weekend. Make it a great day. Live street giveaway. You inspired me giving someone in need. Can you retweet me? Yeah, just uh, if you're giving legit 400 away, just retweet it at me and I'll send you a DM. Go Winnie the Pooh. That's hilarious. What do you guys think about what we're doing for the teachers? I call them Pulte's teachers, so we make sure that we're actually getting teachers. <laughs> you know, I'm just so focused on making sure things aren't scammed. I mean, the majority of people are good people, but that's why I like working with Code of Vets so much. You know, they're talking to these veterans and and everything. By the way, I'll say too, just so everybody knows, if there's excess funds with regard to a particular veteran that we raise money for, please know, and I've said this in other tweets, that it will go to other veterans. Um, so you should just be aware of that. Just trying to take care of one veteran, one American at a time. I am doing something on Instagram today. Go to Instagram.com backslash Pulte, P-U-L-T-E. And that's the only Instagram account I have. Um, so if you're getting contacted by other ones, I understand there's some fakes out there. Just know that that's BS. Good. Make somebody's life amazing. By the way, leave you with one last thing. 
It's the weekend, Saturday morning. You want to do something for yourself this weekend? I'm all about talking about other people and helping other people. But let's just talk about you for a second and taking care of you. Do you want to know the best way to take care of you? The best way to take care of you is to do something kind today. Do something kind for somebody else. When we do something for somebody else, we think of another person and we get out of our own minds. Most often, when you look at depressed people or people who are having a hard time, and I'm not talking about people who are chemically dependent, just so you're aware, or have chemical issues, just so we're totally clear. But I'll give you some really good mindset thoughts. If you use this, it will really work. Most often when people are down or depressed, and again, not chemical, they have too much going on in their mind, right? It's not that they're not thinking enough. It's actually that they may be in some cases thinking too much. And so the way to feel better, in my opinion, is to have a clear mind. The way to have a clear mind is to be doing things that are positive. We get rid of positive thoughts very quickly. Is this all helpful to you guys? We get, we, we get rid of positive thoughts real quickly. Negative thoughts tend to linger. So if we can make those negative thoughts turn into positive thoughts, we'll have less going on in here and we'll be able to be more at peace, be able to have more silence, and you'll be able to feel better. So that's just my advice for whatever it's worth this weekend is to do something for somebody else. You get it out of your brain and you help other people. So with that, I love you all. Thank you to my teammates. Thank you for donating to these different people that we're putting up. It's amazing. Um, All of your teammates are recognizing everybody else who's doing it. If you need dentures, just comment to me or post a video there and that way you could... Um, we can see it. Good, I'm inspired you ten times. Thank you. Go do something. Go do something for somebody else today. Make it a great day. Look out for the big giveaway. Have a great day. Love you all. Love you, team. T E A M. My team, our team, we the team, we the people. Love you all. Bye-bye.